welcome to anahata designs and welcome to the chit chat series of anahata design so in this series i would show you a complete process of my art from start to finish along with some interesting topic of discussion well i always get so much questions regarding my art my art journey or the techniques i use to handle clay and many more so i thought why not to start this series and it will be a very good uh, way to communicate with all of you so our first topic of this series is a question asked by one of my youtube subscriber and she wanted to know where can we buy all the tools for terracotta jewelry designing so i thought this is an absolutely perfect topic to start this series so do stick around to know all the basic information about terracotta tools and some of my expert advices regarding terracotta jewelry designing but before we start with that just in case if you are new here and if you don't know me my name is neelam and i am known as anahata designs on social media i am a passionate art lover since i was born and i am practicing art or painting since childhood i am also a terracotta artist do check out the link of my social media accounts in the description box below so without taking any further ado let's get started with our today's topic which is where can you get the tools for terracotta jewelry designing so you know before investing into any of the tools available for terracotta or for any art i suggest you to find a substitute for that or whatever you have with you and start practicing with that see sometimes what happens whenever we see any art we immediately want to try it and in that urge of moment we uh, end up buying all the expensive materials all the expensive brushes the colors and uh, tools but uh, that no might not be so helpful because whenever we buy any of the uh, expensive art supplies before practicing that art it can end up to the increase in clutter and leads leads us to demotivation For example I was so into watercolor I liked it so much so I ended up buying a expensive watercolor palette before practicing with the um, beginners watercolor palette so what happens I uh, buy I uh, purchased so many watercolor papers and so many watercolors before practicing it and then I knew that watercolors are not for me or I am not so good in watercolor as much as I am good in acrylics so that ended up to uh, clutter into my art supplies and now that colors are lying there and i am even not practicing watercolors anymore because it was only for that spur of moment that i wanted to start i wanted to practice watercolor so clay is also something like that clay is also a very complicated thing to work with so the first thing you need is patience while you are working with any art supply or any art or with clay So you know once you master your skills and when you are sure and confident about your skills you can invest into various tools which would make your work more easier and can help you grow your business see i am not demotivating you but just in case please don't end up to buying so many so much expensive things that would not help into the growth of your business So in case if you are someone who has never worked with clay or have zero knowledge about terracotta I am here to help you out today So firstly you need clay a good quality smooth finish clay See there are various clays available in the market these days that are polymer clay um, air dry clay and um, paper mache clay but the clay which is used for terracotta is the clay which our potters are used since ancient times to make the pot the clay which is made from soil so the soil is filtered into the various steps and all the dirt is removed from the soil and then we get a very smooth finished clay which is known as the terracotta clay through which our potters make the pots and through which we will be designing our jewelry there are various online options available for terracotta clay a good quality smooth finished one but what i suggest here that you should visit the potters in your city and get the clay from them this would not only help them but it is also a very budget friendly option for you you would be amazed to see the talent of india in action and it would definitely enhance your confidence to start with your terracotta journey you can also get some tips from them to handle the clay and you can also practice making pots with help of them my heart fills with happiness and peace whenever i visit to potter's place and i want all of you to feel that same 
The second thing you would need is the rolling pin and two dowels of size 0.5 or 0.6 to roll out the clay and to ensure that your your clay thickness is same from all the sides. So you will get the rolling pin from your house. Ask your mom if she has an extra pair of rolling pin. Of course, I'm sure she would have. And um, for the dowels, you can use the scale. or you can visit to the carpenter and ask them to uh, make the two dowels of 0.5 or 0.6 cm size and also you would need some cookie cutters to cut the basic shapes of the clay so again before buying any cookie cutter see if you have something in your house in your kitchen which can cut the clay into specific shapes see i suggest to start with round pendants and you can cut the round shape with the small steel cutlery available into your kitchen you can also use steel glass or uh, perfume cap or uh, bottle caps see look around and you will find variety or different uh, sizes of uh, round shapes into your house only so you won't need them to buy immediately you can practice with that practice clay cutting practice clay clay rolling and just practice clay handling with all that So once you have mastered the clay handling, clay rolling and clay cutting, so you are now ready for the next step of that which is designing some kind of a um, details into your clay pendants. For that too variety of options are available online and offline but as i say before investing invent just look around into your stationery cutlery kitchen home garage and try to imagine the tools available there try to imagine if you how you can use them to create some design on your terracotta pendant see for example i have recently uploaded a video on designing a terracotta pendant by only using a popsicle stick i would leave the link of that video into the description box so that you can watch and practice that Not only that you might have seen into my videos me using knife or ball pen cap or ball pen refills or uh, straw or many other things which i have collected from my home office or many other places it's now became into my habit of looking each and everything as a terracotta tool so whenever i visit any coffee shop or any uh, place where uh, Uh, there are straws so i uh, ask them for some extra straws and uh, whenever i am walking through uh, any road or anything and if i see something lying down and which can be useful for me in a terracotta um, as a terracotta tool i pick up that and i uh, keep that with me so uh, it might look weird but uh, yeah i have that habit right now in me so um, I like doing that because uh, right now I have collected so many tools that I don't need any other tools or any expensive tools to buy to design my terracotta jewelry. So just don't throw away the things. Uh, just look into the trash. Uh, have the vision. Have a clear idea of what you can make from that uh, trash. Like don't throw away the bottles or uh, the caps or um each and everything anything can be used as a terracotta tool and um, i would make a separate video on that also that how and what i have collected from a trash and how am i using that as a terracotta tool so once you master your skills you can very well replace all your home basic tools from the advanced ones which are of course available online offline but just make sure that you are ready to purchase all of them and that would ne- not end up to an expense and that would lead you to uh, have some income from that so apart from the tools you would need nichrome wire of gauge 24 28 and 26 uh, i don't have any substitute for nichrome wire so that you need to purchase and uh, uh, for that i would li- leave the link from where i am purchasing the nichrome wires and uh, some other uh, things which are uh, not necessarily uh, sub- for what the substitute is not available at our home I would leave all the links of the materials I have mentioned here in the description box below. So that's all for today and if you have 
any questions or any doubts or any topic you want me to discuss don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below i would be very happy to answer and clear your doubts so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get updated whenever i post a new episode of chit chat with anahata designs see please subscribe it would really help me and please leave a comment or leave a like it would not take a second for you and um, uh, i would be very much happy if you would leave a smiley also in the comment box it would really uh, motivate me so thank you so much for being with me till here so that's all for today and uh, thank you so much for being here with me till now and uh, do tell me in the comments whether you have liked this jewelry piece the painting on this it was really a complicated one uh, because the area was so small to paint on this but uh, the end product really gave me so much happiness and it looked so elegant thank you so much